Welcome back to Cooking with Cannabis with Chef Nugs. Thanks for returning. Today we'll be learning how to make a weed fettuccine alfredo. You guys ready to use the butter we just made? Let's get going. Begin. You gotta take your pot that's already at medium heat. You're gonna take two full tablespoons of your can of butter. From the last episode, go check it out if you don't remember. So you're gonna take your two heaping spoons of butter. We're gonna put it in the pan and we're gonna let it melt. We gotta let it get to completely liquid before we add our next ingredient, which is flour. Now that the butter's fully melted, we're gonna take about a quarter cup of all purpose flour. You're gonna dump it in your butter. Take your whisk. You're going to combine your melted fat or your melted can of butter with the flour. You want to get it all together. See how it's turning into a paste? It needs to actually get a little thicker than this, so I'm going to just add a little bit more flour. Look how beautiful that is. Nice and green and sexy. One thing I always tell people about their food, if you love your food, it'll love you back. So take the time, put the effort. It's totally worth it. So here we go. This is a roux right here. There's our melted butter with the flour. And now we're just kind of trying to cook out the flour taste without burning anything. So it's a constant movement. But this is what thickens our Alfredo sauce. As you see, it is thickened up. It's gotten a little clumpier. So now we're gonna go ahead and take our cream, or you can use whole milk or non-fat milk, depending on how you're trying to eat, it doesn't matter. This is made to thicken, so it doesn't really matter which one. I just like a little thicker for myself and for this video to make it look a little more presentable. We're gonna actually just go with cream. Go ahead and just pour that in there, stirring your cream because you don't want to burn your roux on the bottom of your pan. So what we're doing here is heating up the cream to break down the basis of the roux, which is what our wheat butter is. It's going to emulsify and create a thicker sauce-like substance. This process can take up to 15 or 20 minutes, so have patience. At this point I feel like there's no roux stuck to the bottom of the pan. You'll fill it with your whisk because it kind of catches. Feels pretty good, so I'm gonna check in in a couple minutes. Make sure it's not burning. You don't want to get it too, too hot. Don't boil it because you'll boil at the THC. So I will see you in a few. As you can see, it's already starting to thicken. It's been about five minutes now. See how it's thicker than it's, than just milk. This is how you can check. See how it's coated the back of the spoon. It means it's at nappe, which means it's a sauce consistency. Next, excuse my reach, you're going to take your salt and pepper shakers and you're going to add about a table, excuse me, a teaspoon of salt and about a teaspoon of fresh cracked pepper. Go ahead and stir it in there. Not too much salt, because you still got to put in the Parmesan cheese. And that is salty in itself. So now, it's thick enough. We're going to take our Parmesan cheese. And by the way, if I didn't mention earlier, I used two quarts of milk for this recipe. And I am going to put in six ounces of shredded Parmesan cheese. Any, do, any kind will do, preferably like this, not the grated. So we're going to come over here and throw the cheese in there like that. We're going to let it melt on down. It's going to get kind of thick, so you can add a little extra cream as needed. Look at that cheesy goodness. Let me smell. 
So we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit more because it is a little thick. And that time I just used milk because cream is thicker than milk. And since I need this to thin out, I just threw a little extra milk in there. See, as you can see, it's already thinned out and looking a lot more like pasta sauce. So there's your sauce. Next is plating. Sauce is ready. You need to get your pasta and any protein. We use chicken because that's what we like, but you can use steak, shrimp, whatever you'd like. That goes good with pasta. Now I figured I didn't have to show you how to cook that. If you need to figure it out, just go Google it somewhere. It's really easy, real quick. I happen to grill my chicken because that's what I like. So you're gonna take some of your already cooked pasta, put it in a mixing bowl. This is how I do it. Just like so. No, I don't like messes. Stay clean, everybody. It's the best way. Stay clean. Nobody likes a dirty kitchen. Now you're going to take your sauce. You're going to pour it over your noodles, like so. Mix it nice and evenly through your pastas. See that? You're going to take it back, put it on the plate. Plate in the center of the plate always. When you're doing just one thing for a three-dimensional look, you stack it kind of deep like that. See how it stands and gives it depth. In case any of you are uh, trying to go on a date or impress any significant others, or tri tips of the trade. Now you're going to take your shredded Parmesan cheese. See, this is differently than the other one. This is more shaved. It looks nicer. Just kind of branch it over like this for a dramatic effect. And you're going to go ahead and take a couple pieces of your protein. Layer it on top as such. If it wants to stay, sometimes it can be a little difficult. And then just crack it with a little fresh pepper. And there you have THC infused chicken Alfredo. Hope you enjoy. Come back next time when we learn what a, a new one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know.